come on you blues we're into the carabao cup semi-finals outstanding performance from a couple of players out there today and yes as you guys already know it's your boy in Oko case and this is okay speaks football now of course this game was another game of two halves first of all we had you know the starting ups of some of our youth players from the academy we had i think sun soup bell and we had our reveal and we also had xavier simons in the right wing back and they all had outstanding performances today this was i think their first performance or their first call up to the senior team it was like a graduation ceremony for them and they had a very intense and direct gameplay today they knew what they wanted to do they were brave and they were really into the game and big ups to those you know players from the youth academy now apart from that i told you guys already this game was a game of two halves if you saw the lineup of course you're like ah maybe we might not win this game maybe it will be a very difficult game but thomas tuchel had his plans in his head now we started with a highly rotated squad and at the end of the day it was sure looking like our first team now of course we came into the side once again was really really hard for us to create chances yes we're so glad about the win we're so glad that we are into the semi-finals of the carabao cup but nevertheless the performance wasn't still outstanding now we couldn't create you know so much chances we had most of the possession of course we couldn't create chances kepa arizabalga literally saved our asses once again today it kept us in the game for as long as we could brentford should have won the game in the first half they had you know three they had three clear cut chances that should have been in the back of our net but Kepa kept us in the game and big ups, big mighty ups to Kepa Arizabalga. Now the defense line also was solid. Sar had a wonderful game today. Now I'm one of the people that have said he needs to like freaking go on a loan. But he, you know, kind of had a very good game today. Chaloba was, you know, immensely outstanding, you know, solid in that back line. It gave me the feels like I had, you know... Uh, Thiago Silva in the back line, which is really lovely to see from Chaloba. Aspliqueta also, you know, legendary status, you know, big, big ups to that back line because they really kept us in the game, even though they had, you know, <laughs> some lapses, but Kepa was also there to cover up for them. So it was a wonderful one. Alonso, on the other hand, wasn't all that awful today. Yes, in the first half, we add it to the brim, you know, we add it to the brim. Alonso feels like someone that is, you know, suffering from some other problems outside football. It just looks unbothered. It looks unconcerned and it is just annoying to see sometimes. But we're, we're happy. We got the win. We got the promotion into the semifinals of the Carabao Cup. It was, you know, literally something we love to see because we should have been out of the game in the first half. And the lineup we had to put out there was you know you know not strong enough to match the brentford team even though it wasn't strong enough but we still expected to see a better performance from the side cover which was outstanding today you love to see it saul as well was you know outstanding now these are a few players that were naming we literally wanted them out of the team already but rotation wise they're really good saul was was very okay today malang saul was as well very decent today so it's it just keeps me wondering uh when we have all our players back into the squad now when this few players are coming into the side you know for just rotation the old team will be rubbing off on them and they could actually become better. Now, going to our front line, we had Javi Vail, we had uh, Bell, we had Javi Vail, Bell. It's, it's still so hard for me to, uh, you know, to remember the full name. But we had Javi Vail, we had Bell, and we had Barkley. Now, Barkley, starting with Barkley, Barkley wasn't exciting at all. I do not know how Barkley was looking like he was the under-23 players. Even the under-23 players that came from the academy, that's just not even under-23, under-19s. They're like 17, 18 years old. And they looked more intense, they looked more, you know, informed, they looked more confident than even Ross Barkley on the ball, which is something that was, uh, you know, we're getting tired of. Uh, we all had high hopes for Barkley to perform in the side, but over you no know, overall, he's, he, hasn't, he hasn't been impressing. He hasn't been impressing. Now, generally, the old team had a very good game. We couldn't create much chances for the forwards. Of course, as usual, we do not create chances. 
the time we create chances we do not score the chances so it's just a paradox for us anyways we're still itching to have our best and our first team players back into the side but in general the first half wasn't the best but coming into the second half we had Jorgino come into the side and of course Jorgino came into the side did the usual thing the back side the back passes and he also attempted a few direct passes that is what we want to see at this football club yes we know we're playing a five back system but we want more of those direct passes you know the more the direct passes the more encouraged the forwards the wing backs will be to make those runs but when we're not giving them those passes everything is just going to be stale everyone is just going to stay stagnant so the manager needs to put it into the center backs the wing backs the mids that they got to play those long passes. They got to play those direct passes one time. No need to shuffle the ball left and right. To be honest, it's fine if we can sacrifice a bit of possession. You know, in games, we always have about 61 possession, uh, 63 possession plus. If we could sacrifice it a little bit, bring it all the way down to 55, just to give more direct passes, more defense breaking passes then it will be a lot more interesting for us to watch number one and we will definitely create more chances and we would see a much more fluid you know style of football so in the second half we had loads of that and now Ungolo Kante came onto the pitch Pulisic came onto the pitch Mason Mount came on the pitch and that was the that was where the game switched Rich James as well came onto the pitch now you guys know Thomas Tuchel has always been crying for a five substitution rule in the Premier League now if you give this man five substitution rule you might as well just give him the premier league because that man surely knows how to change a game with those substitutions it gives him a whole lot of field to play on which is something thomas Tuchel really 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 thrives on our game plan today was just to pressurize brentford to make them break and we you know did that as much as we could and we also had to stay in the game which Kepa was very responsible for today. And fortunately, Rhys James came into the side, you know, towards the end of the game, gave a nice, you know, nice cross from the right flank. And it was an own goal. Yeah, we got our breakthrough with an own goal. So thankfully, we we're lucky to get the own goal. But of course, we pushed the lock to our side. And that's what we're talking about. You need that bit of luck to make your hard work actually pay. And today, we got that goal and after getting the goal brentford you know of course they want to reply that is the the big mistake when chelsea gets that goal against your team don't try to reply especially when we have that solid midfield probably of jorgino kovacic or kante and a, you know strong back line do not try to reply because that is when we start creating our chances because you give us loads of spaces to attack so in general it was a wonderful game we were so happy we were in the semi-finals you guys saw the preview we weren't really positive about this game but it is what it is chelsea are in the Carabao Cup semi-finals and we're looking to win it. Of course, man of the match for me has to be Kepa because without Kepa today, we wouldn't be in the game past half time. So my man of the match is Kepa. I know Ngulu Kante came into the pit, dropped some nice footworks, but you know, we were we were not expecting that from Ngulu Kante, but man has some nice footwork and also Rich James came into the side with lots of energy, but the man of the match still has to be Kepa, kept us in the game. Kepa freaking kept us into the game for as long as we could and you know till our top players who come into the game to change the game so guys thank you so much for watching that was my match review please make sure you smash that like and hit the subscribe button we are up into the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup come on you blues peace